let's have a look how you can use emojis in your Power BI reports. Emojis can be a great addition to your Power BI reports if you don't overdo it and use them in the right places. Now let's have a look at the different options that you have to insert them and then add a practical case. Now, as an example, we have a card visualization on which I just want to show one emoji. Now to do this, I'm gonna go to my measures table, add a new one. I'm gonna call this one emoji. The first option is to use the Windows key together with the period key. So Windows period key, and then a box pops up from which you can choose your emoji. So if we have different categories, etc. Now let's go to the category smiley faces and animals, then down the list. I'm gonna choose the cow, I click on it. You see it gets added to the formula bar. And you also have to make sure that you place the emoji in between quotation marks. And then we can grab our measure and then put it onto our card visualization. And we have a cow. Now let's have a look at option number two. So if you go back to our emoji measure, then instead of using Windows period, you can also just copy it over from a website. So I go to my browser and here I have one website, getemoji.com, but there are many different ones. And here it just gives you a list of all the different emojis and you can copy them over. And so I'm gonna go for this B, go back to Power BI, and instead of the cow, I'm gonna copy over the B. And that's it, simple as that. Now let's have a look at the third method, which is to use the function called unicharacter. So it turns the unicode character that's referenced by the given numeric value. So there are different values that return different symbols. So if you select it and then type in the value 128,000, closing brackets, you see it returns a mouse. Now why does the number 128,000 return a mouse? Well, there's a whole list of different values and the corresponding symbols. So here I have Googled it. Now I got to a website called Vertex42 and you see we have the whole list and here we have 128,000, which is a mouse. So this is one way of figuring out. Another option is to return all of the symbols inside of Power BI. Now for this, we need to create a new table. So let's go to the modeling tab, click on new table, and I'm gonna call this one unique character. And then we can use a function like generate series to return values between 128,000 and 128,016 increment by one and then when you switch to the data view you see we have a list that starts at 128,000 and goes all the way up to 128,060 then we can add a new column I'm gonna call this one emoji and here we can then use the unicard function and refer to the value column you see now we have a list of all of the emojis and we can figure out which number to type in to get a certain emoji. What is also nice is that you can use these emojis inside of your names or for measures or tables. So let's take the DAX measures table as an example. I'm gonna click over here on rename and I want to have a little heart behind it. So I'm gonna hold the Windows period key, then click here on the heart. I want to have a yellow one and then close the box. Press enter, you see it keeps the heart with the color as well. And the same works for names for fields and measures. All right, so now that we know how to insert different emojis, now let's have a look at a practical case. So here we have a list of customer transactions. We have the date, the customer, the amount, and the status, whether it's canceled, open, or paid. Now what I would like to do is add some emojis right after it so that I can clearly see that it's cancelled open and paid and gives a little bit of extra spark to the report. So to do this we have two options either with a table that maps the status to the emoji or I can also use a measure. Now let's go first for the first option. So I'm gonna go here to the home tab then enter data and here I'm gonna have one column called status 
And here we have three different outcomes. We have paid, then we have open, and we have cancel. Okay, and you go to the second column where we're gonna have our emojis. Double click on the first cell, hold the Windows period key, and then let's go to the symbols group. And then if you go down, we have here the dollar sign. Okay, now we just need one. Then we go to open, double click, Windows period key. And then when it's open, we would like to have, now let's go to this celebrations and objects bucket all the way down. Here you have an hourglass. And then for canceled, we're gonna do the same. So we're gonna go to the last bucket. And then let's use over here the collision symbol. Once you have it, you can click on load. So now that we have added the table, let's switch to our modeling view. And over here we have table. Now let's rename it. Let's call this one status. And you see that it's linked on status already. Then we can go to our data view. And I'm gonna go here to my status table and you see the different emojis. Now, if you now switch to report view, go to the status table and then drag in the emoji field onto our table. You see, we have the matching emojis. Now, the only thing that's a little bit annoying is the, the header. So let's get rid of that. So you can do this by going to the formatting pane and then field formatting, choose the right field. So that's emoji. And then here we would like to have a white font color and also apply it to the header. You see, it's not really removing it, but you just make the font white and it doesn't show. The same thing we can also achieve by using a measure. Okay, so we do not necessarily have to create a separate table. We can do the same thing with a measure. Now let me show you. We can go here to our measures table, add a new one. I'm gonna call this one status emoji. And we can use a switch function, and so to return different results depending on the value of an expression. Okay, so then if we have canceled, then the collision icon, when it's open, the hourglass, when it's paid, the, sim uh, the dollar symbol, okay? So switch, then the expression. Well, here we can use a function called selected value. Okay, so it only returns the value when there's only one value, so let's, so do selected value and then refer to sales status comma shift enter to go to the next line and here the first value that we, that we want to check for is paid if it's paid then what symbol do we want to return so here also use your quotation marks Windows period key then let's go here to the last symbols bucket and then down the list and here we have the dollar icon Okay, let's do the same for open and hold the Windows period key. Now here we go to the celebrations objects bucket all the way down, use the hourglass. And the last one is for cancelled. Windows period key, go to the or a symbols bucket, and then collision icon. Then let's close the brackets for the switch function. And let's also add this one then to the table. And you see it gives us exactly the same result. You can clean up the header and that's it. And so in this way, I don't have to create a separate table. Now let's do one more example with a measure. So I'm gonna go here to dex measures. What I would like to do now is to return a happy face when my percentage paid is above 50% and otherwise a sad face. Okay, so let's call this one then status overall. And I want to check if the percentage paid, which is a measure I already created before. I want to check if this one is bigger than 50%, so 0.5. And then if this result is true, I want to have a happy face. So I'm gonna go here to my smileys, close this. And then if the result is false, I would like to have a sad face. Okay, so this one. Okay. 
Now let's add this measure to a card. So over here we have a card visualization. I'm gonna drag that to the top left corner. Now let's then take our status overall measure and use it for our card visualization. So over here I'm gonna switch to the field section, status overall, let's add it. You see we have now a happy face because it's 56%. Now let's also get rid of the background. So I'm gonna go here, turn background off. Okay, also get rid of the category label. So all is good. Now let's say I change here the slicer. And at some point you see it's 20% paid and we have a sad face. Okay, what we can also do is use these emojis on our slicers. Okay, so I'm gonna take my table and drag it down a little bit. And now I'm gonna insert a slicer over here. So let's click on slicer, drag it right in between. Adjust the size. And now I'm gonna take here from the status table, the emoji column, I'm gonna use it for my slicer. Seeing like this, it's not very pretty. So I'm gonna go here to formatting, then general. And I'm gonna change the orientation from vertical to horizontal. You see, so that we have the emojis showing right next to each other. And I wanna get rid of the title there. So I'm gonna turn the slider head off and I want to make them a little bit bigger. So let's go here to items and put the text size to 30. Perfect, looks much better. And if I click here and let's say on the dollar icon, then it filters the table, but it also filters everything else here at the top, which is not great. So we have to add the interactions, which you can do by making sure that the slice is selected, then uh, format. And then here on the left hand side, you have added interactions. And then you just put the interaction to stop for the cards for the smile here at the top, and also here for the timeline, making sure that it's not filtering. All right, so if you click on it again, you undo it. And now let's see, we want to have only the open transactions. You can click here on the hourglass, you see only the open transactions. That's it for emojis, so you see they are very easy to add to your reports and can give this little extra spark that sometimes your report needs. Now, maybe you have other ideas how to do this, then share it in the comment section below. If you like this video, then consider subscribing to our channel and give it a thumbs up. And I hope, of course, to see you in the next video.